Okay, we're back for part two of the ship back again. I just thought I'd uh, split it into two videos. And uh, that truck has, on the previous video has successfully reversed into his spot. The uh, ship is not backing where I was hoping it would. It is going into behind this building here. So um, we'll watch it as far as we can see. Two tugs connected. They're basically uh, nudging him along now. Shipping containers are still going on the back of the uh, toll ship here, the Victorian Reliance 2. As the tugboats are uh, backing in. I'm guessing it's a fuel ship. I'll put it in the comments later. It'll be in the description. I'll get the details off the website. Yeah, big shout out to the members, thank you very much. Oh, there's a little boat out there. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Belt Loop 29, a uh, long time supporter of the channel, as well as Joe Hub. Uh, thanks very much uh, for the support. Um, and we have. I think it's, it's called a channel called Beat It. It's a drumming channel. He's um, also joined the channel, so thank you very much. And Sylvester Joseph, I keep I left him out of the last time I said these. And thank you very much, Sylvester Joseph. He's a supporter of a few channels. So as the ship is backing in, he's going to end up going behind the buildings here. Used to be like a grain, used to hold like grain. Actually down there is the old uh, railway uh, station. When this, they turned the trains, they stopped running commercial uh, passenger trains in the 90s. It's a shame because it's one of the nice uh, train trips right around the coastline back down to Launceston. If you're ever going to be a train driver and you're going to be doing freight trains, man, it's a great... Um, <laughs> you get some great scenery in Tasmania. There we go, you can see the front tug now. He's just got a line on him. He's not doing it. Oh, no. Nah. He's keeping the line loose. The ship is reversing under its own steam. It's actually flying a French flag there, red, white and blue. Yes. See it right at the top there. But it's an interesting, always an interesting time at the port. There's always something going on. It's a little pilot vessel, is it, in front of the tug there? Out at, it's very hard to see it on the GoPro, but I'm pretty sure he will pick it up if you're watching it on the on a TV or. or on a bigger screen might be hard to see on the laptop I mean if on a mobile but boy there's a bit of chill in the air as it's about um, I think I said about 56 Fahrenheit today and it is uh, for point of reference in April so it is a bit cooling down this time of year get heading towards 
winter. Yeah, but I just thought you might just, you'd might like to see the port in action. I might try a different uh, vantage point next time. I just saw it on top of the car park here. And this is just on, yeah, this is the uh, shopping car park on the roof up the top. But you're on tour with Radio Jonesy and uh, thank you all the subscribers. I've got a ton of new subscribers. Uh, thank you guys, really do appreciate it. And yep, as the ship is getting pushed into uh, behind the container building, uh, the, the old grain buildings, the trucks are coming in to uh, get loaded on tonight's crossing. And the toll ship here, the green one, that leaves at about 6 p.m. our time here and arrives in Melbourne about 6 a.m. while the other one leaves similarly just a bit before that and then arrives here tomorrow morning around um, 6 a.m. Did I say that? I said that. Oh, I completely balls that up. They both leave around the same time at around uh, 6 at night and they cross in the middle of Bass Strait around midnight somewhere and they both arrive here at about 6 a.m. These ships can do it a lot quicker than that but they tell me that's the most economic for diesel is to go at those knots. Um, yeah so they got like computers in these ships that tell them the most economical way of um, of getting the boat to its destination depending on winds, current, all these different factors. But if they're in a hurry, I was told he could do it in about seven hours. I won't, uh, I was told that by a uh, drinking companion at the local waterhole. He says he's been on it when it's done it, so I'll take his word for it. And now we see the ship coming into port. He's backing up there, we've got the uh, port in full swing, more timber coming in, more shipping containers going into the Victorian Reliance. Alright, I think I'll leave it there guys, you've seen enough of this after watching, if you've watched the first video and the second video, thanks very much. And I'll see you on the next video. You're on tour with Radio Jersey.